Hi everyone, it's Brother Paul here. I got another dream to share with you. This dream took uh, place last Saturday and it was early in the morning. I'm gonna say before I woke up, I don't remember, I didn't mark it. Normally I marked the time, but I didn't. So this is another one of those dreams where I thought it was one thing and it was another. So here we go. I'm gonna, forgive me, I'm in a dim area. I might not look it, but I, I got bad eyesight. So I'm gonna do my best to give you the dream first and then to decipher it. So basically what it started out as is I went to visit a friend at uh, their house. And when I arrived at their house, when they opened the door, the first thing I saw was there was waste level water. And I could see it, but it seemed like nobody else could. So I walked in and I, I was watching myself walk in water but nobody else seemed to notice so i looked around i looked in the kitchen it seemed full of water i looked in the living room there was tons of people full of water i walked through the kitchen to look down the hallway and i saw water waist level and i just couldn't make couldn't get i didn't know what it what was going on so i moved into the living room and there was a lot of friends there and what i saw is uh some people were giving testimonies to each other they were talking about the gospel, about God. And I saw a clear division in two groups. I saw people I knew and people I didn't know. And the people I didn't know, they didn't want to be there. And they especially didn't want to listen to the word. So I just kind of stood in a, from a distance and I was watching this. And what it was is just before I was going to ask, who are these people? My One of my friends walked up to me and he goes, oh, you're probably wondering who those people are. Uh, I brought my car into the garage today and uh, they had a scratch, you know, a lottery ticket and I won getting my car fixed and I could actually win a vehicle. And they were, this this thing I won was a golf tournament. And I went, oh, okay. And I'm watching this and I saw a big group of people leaving to go to this golf tournament. And I also saw my mother who was saying she wasn't feeling well. So what else do I have here? So I'm walking up and I'm concerned about my mother and I see everybody leaving to go to the golf tournament and it was strange as I was watching them leave something was revealed to me I heard the losers will be slaves and I didn't understand it so and then they continued leaving they were all one by one going and I remember thinking hidden satanic agenda I don't know why I thought that, but I, I thought that. So as I was watching them leave, my friend, who in real life, their dog passed away. They had to put it down because it bit one of their children. But in the dream, he brought the head of his dog and he put it at my feet. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I thought it was like a stuffed head. But then the dog opens its mouth and it went <laughs> like that. And I was like, whoa, I jumped back. And I'm like, what is this? You know, so I'm thinking dog head. And then under the head, all of a sudden four legs popped out and it, the head walked away with these little strange feet. I was totally freaked out. I didn't know what it was and the dream ended. I'll just double check. Oh yeah, and I remember thinking four legs, the number four was dominant in my mind and I thought four digits. I didn't know why. So that was the dream. So I'm going to go right into the words here. And again, forgive me if I'm not the fastest reader in this one because of the lighting here. So I, I wrote family members. And the first one that was tied to this was to dream about a family member is to draw attention to who and what relationship you should be looking at. And it was a Jeremiah 12, 6. And, and the only person in my dream that was a direct family member was my mother, who in his dream was sick. So it says here, for even thy brethren and thy house of thy father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. Ye have been called a multitude after they believe them not, though they speak with fair words unto thee. So for clarification, those who are good, like they act like they're good to you and they pretend to be nice to you can actually be the ones that turn on you. Just remember that for later in the dream. So there was, there was also Colossians 3.13, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance. 
against uh, against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgives you. So the second one, the water part of the dream, that was very visual part of my dream. So I wrote water and I wrote pool. So I found Psalms 107.35. He changed a wilderness into a pool of water and a dry land into a spring of water. So I immediately thought of people testimonying and, you know, they were being washed in water in the, the word of God. So that's what I thought of. I saw the kitchen. More than once I looked at the kitchen in a stream. I don't know why I did, but I, I first saw it with water, later saw it without water. But I, I, I kept looking at the kitchen. So this is an easy kill. Um, 4624. Then said he unto me, Please are the places of them that boil where the minister of the house shall boil and sacrifice of the people. Boil the sacrifices of the people. Didn't know what that meant. Moving on. So I was looking for relatives refusing to listen to the gospel. And I had to do a bit of digging on this one. But I eventually found Matthew 18, 17. And if he shall re uh, neglect to hear them, uh, tell it on to the church. But if they neglect to hear the church... Let him be unto thee as a heathen, man and a publican. I don't know. I'll, I'll say that again. because I know that this one's important, but I'm not too sure how it pertains. So again, Matthew 18, 17. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell unto them, tell it unto the church. But if they neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen. So I'm going to look for you guys to break to break that one up because that one went right over my head. So then I found testimonies because everybody was giving each other testimonies in the stream. That was a Luke 8.39. Return to your home and declare how God has done for you, has, what, has, what God has done for you. And he went away proclaiming throughout the whole city um, how much Jesus had done for him. And there was a 2 Timothy 1.8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of thy testimony of the Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker, a participant of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of God. The next one was mother being sick was a Psalms 623. Um, I am, I am worn out, O Lord, have pity on me, give me strength. I am completely exhausted and my whole body is deeply troubled. How long, O oh Lord, will you wait to help me? So this is something you see very often in the elderly. They just want to leave and you hear them say things like, just let me die. And it's sad. So here's where I think the hidden message of this dream is. I looked up golf tournament and I looked up all sorts of ways to look up sports and I ended up finding competition. And this shocked me. It was the Philippines 2, 3, and 4. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowness of the mind. Let each other's esteem other, uh, sorry, let each other esteem other better than themselves, others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So this might have something to do with uh, one of the Ten Commandments. Do not look at your neighbor. Don't be jealous of your neighbor. Don't be competitive with them because it leads to pretty much bad ways of thinking. I'll get back to that. So then, <clears throat> remember that thought I had in a dream where when they were leaving for the golf tournament, I had the thought, whoever wins this tournament will, whoever wins the tournament will make slaves of the losers. So I wrote slaves and it was in Ephesians 6.5. Servants be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as with Christ. <clears throat> Next one was losers, which are 1 Timothy 6.10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through the many sorrows. So people are never happy when they're chasing money. 
And I found Dog, which was Judges five a seven five. So he brought down the people onto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Every one that lappeth the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shall be set by himself. Likewise, every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And this is another one. I'm going to need somebody else to interpret that one. But he's saying whoever laps like a dog, they're going to be set apart. I'm not too sure. Maybe that means selfishness. I'm not sure. So then I kept looking for dog head, dog head, because that freaked me out. <clears throat> so I found something close to it. It was Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. And I kept thinking of those golf tournament people. So sometimes people just keep going back to bad habits, sports, you know, whatever, football, hockey games. You just keep going there. You're sitting, drinking, smoking, whatever. So that's what I thought. It doesn't mean it's not, but that's what I thought. So the number four was very dominant more than once in this dream. So I actually found a site that had numbers attached to scriptures. And the synonym of the heavens, angels, or God's created intelligence was an easy kill one five. Also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was appearance. They had the likeness of a man. This one went over my head. I'll need help on that one. So legs, again, very dominant. More than once my eyes looked at this head of a dog and I kept seeing these really freaky little four legs. But uh, for now I'll just say they're dog legs. So I might find an image on that. Eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast with the fire his head and with his legs and with the pertinence thereof. This is another one. Do not know what that means. And then hidden satanic agenda wouldn't go away. Every time I, I've been looking at this one for, since last week. I've read it so many times. I don't understand what the hidden satanic agenda behind this was. But I found a Romans 14, 23. But whatever has, uh, whatever has doubts is condemned. Yeah, whatever has doubts is condemned if he eats because the eating is not from the faith for whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. So this is definitely one I'm going to need help on other ones here. I wrote dogs and four legs and I ended up finding Exodus 11:7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against a man or beast that he may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites or Israel. And then finally, I found lottery and I was bad luck. And I remember thinking that in a dream, those who lose, when it was suggested to me that they will become slaves, I thought of bad luck. So that was attached to a Romans 8.15. <clears throat> the spirit receive not what you make. No, sorry. The spirit you received does not make you a slave so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him, we cry, Abba, Father. And I put two versions of this, so I'm going to use the King James one here. For ye have not received the spirit of the bondage again to fear, but to have received the spirit of the adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Now, some of these words... I didn't understand, and I am asking for help on this. But the dominant thing of this dream that was repetitive to me in my mind and in my spirit was this theme of competition. When you think of competition, it's not always what you think. Competition can take you in many areas of sin. When you're jealous of your neighbor, they have a better car than you, they dress better than you, they might be going to more events from you, they're richer, you're more poor. I want you guys to really pray on this. This competition thing was very dominant. And I failed to mention, I actually had three other dreams of this theme, but I left them aside because as I dreamt them throughout the night, I wrote the words down, but the next day I didn't remember them at all but they had some of the same words as this one. So I'm putting this out there. 
very, for me, other than the competition part, the rest is a little confusing. So I need help on this one. And I hope this gives somebody confirmation because this dream is crystal clear in my head. And that always means to me, specifically on a Sabbath, I have to put this out. So love you all. I hope this gives somebody confirmation. Please comment. Please like it if it gives you confirmation. And I love the fellowship we do in the comments. So let's see what we can do with this one. Love you guys. Bye. Talk to you later.